everyone. This is a Kiko Sudano. I'm going to check and see if I'm... Oop, it says I'm live right here. Good. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hi there. I think I'm all set. Hi there, I'm Akiko Sudano, and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Downingtown, Pennsylvania. Hi, Chi, thank you for joining me. And I'm going to make a uh, card today, and basically, I'm gonna basically use the same card sketch for a pretty card that we made at on stage using one of the new stamp sets, except that today today's card is I'm going to use one of our um, existing stamp sets, the Floral Essence stamp set. But let me show you the first uh, card. First, let me show you the card that we made at um, on stage, and it's uh, this um, this one, and it uses the Poppy Parade Suite, and it um, it the the uh, Poppy Parade uh, Poppy Parade. I, I don't remember if it's Peaceful Poppies or Poppy Parade Suite, but this it has um, pretty designer series paper with lots of different um, uh, uh, poppy flowers and in lots of different sizes and different designs. And then it's got two stamp sets and we used um, one of the stamp sets to stamp the, um, the uh, birthday greeting here and then another stamp set to uh, uh, stamp the background. I don't know if you can see the um, the 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 flowers and leaves that are stamped in. Um, they're also stamped in Poppy Parade on top of Poppy Parade cardstock, and so it um, is gives you a tone on tone sort of look, and it's just really pretty and it's really subtle. Let me show you the stamp sets that um, that we used for this. Um, I think it's called, the suite is called Peaceful Poppies. And there are two stamp sets in the suite. One is the Painted Poppies stamp set, and the other one is the Peaceful Moments stamp set. And um, the Painted Poppy stamp set has lots of different, it's got the small um, grouping of flowers, it's got um, the single flowers, and then it's got the single flower with the buds, some leaves, and then these splotchy things that you can, um, paint your flowers, sort of kind of paint it, giving it a very artistic sort of look with it, which is kind of nice. It um, gives it a very abstract sort of look. And then they, the sentiments are in a different stamp set, and you've got this um, funky, uh, uh, pretty funky, I think it's modern and it's updated and it's really pretty font that um, it corresponds with a, your, just your regular thing that really makes it fun, I think. Um, one of the things that I really liked about this card sketch, let me, maybe you can see it better here because I don't think I interpret it very well is that it has a um it, it it the um the two different designer series papers are kind of uh off centered from each other so that they're kind of in a wonky shape they're it's not it, they're not precisely laid on top of each other with um, even borders all around. And that really goes well with the, um, the um, abstract nature of things and the informal composition of the, um, of the, uh, the, um, the, the fonts that are used in the um, thing, that, in the, uh, the greetings, the sentiments, as well as um, the uh, casualness of, the, um, of the, this designer series paper. It's really beautiful and it's really fun. And I like this because I just have such a, a difficult time making sure that all my borders are even. And yet the, the card is pretty even without that. So we're going to try to um, duplicate that because I think that's a, a, a card sketch that uh, is can be um, done and look pretty with a lot of different um, stamp sets using, like I said, the Floral Essence stamp set. And we're going to use this flower. Oh, I need to mount these leaves. And then these leaves also to give us, and we're going to stamp it in balmy blue to give us a um, a tone on tone background look. And then we'll all then we'll um stamp use the all days are beautiful that begin with you um font, um sentiment to go on our little uh tag. 
uh, that on our label. So that's what we're gonna do. So let me let me mount uh, the leaves on a stamp block. Here we go. I hope you can hear me okay today because I had uh, didn't realize that um, the volume on my phone I usually have it turned turned down. And then um, as part of my checklist for getting read, ready for uh, YouTube videos um, was one, uh, make sure that I have plenty of power. Two, make sure that I have a good uh, um, internet connection. And now three, it's make sure that my phone volume is turned up so people can hear me. So I'm going to put this aside also. And we'll start by stamping the uh, flower, move all our other papers in uh, balmy blue, and this is a piece of balmy blue cardstock. And I've already folded it in half, and this is gonna be the card front, and here is the, uh, the flower. So we'll start with the flower. And then also I noticed that um, when um, when I uh, stamp, and especially when I, ooh, that's so pretty, such a pretty flower. When I, uh, then I'm, I'm shaking my camera, so I have a, a new stamp mount coming, but it didn't arrive yet. It's supposed to be here later today. And we'll just kind of stamp it um, randomly, and it can go off the edge. There we go. And then we'll get um, some of the leaves and we'll also stamp that in balmy blue and put those in between the flowers. Or maybe we, we'll put them coming off of the flowers and that fills up the space a little bit more in between. I think that's good. I can put that aside. Then I've got a, a piece of Whisper White here for the inside of the card. And so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp uh, uh, the flower again on the sides of the uh, card. To add a little interest to the inside one down here in the corner and then a little bit up here there so we just have like three little flowers and we can uh, put that on the um, inside of the cart for later so I think we're done with the balmy blue ink One of the things, and I haven't done this yet with the balmy blue ink, but one of the things that I learned is to see this little spot inside here? Well, on the back, there's a, when you have your labels for your uh, paint colors that you can put on the side here, there's an extra one that's a solid one, and you can put that on the inside little panel right here. So I've started doing that with, with some of my ink pads, uh, with most of my, the new ink pads you can do that with. And that way, when you have several ink pads open, then um, you can easily tell what color ink you ink pad it is by um, looking at the color on the, um, on the strip there. I learned that and I thought, oh, I should pass that on. All right, now let's, get our sentiment and stamp our sentiment in uh, Memento Tuxedo Black ink. My stamp, oh, see I didn't get uh, the center of the sentiment inked up very well. One more, I think, 
it's uh, about time to re-ink my memento pad. Okay. Get this lined up and see how this goes. All days are beautiful that begin with you, so we want to leave a little bit on the top for the ribbon. And I don't remember what the sizes of my paper are, but when I uh, publish tomorrow in my blog, I, it looks like I had a piece of, uh, of uh, lint in my uh, stamp. Oh, well, that's okay. It still, it still came out pretty well. Um, up, up in, in my blog tomorrow, I'll put uh, the sizes of all of the different uh, different pieces of paper that we uh, dip, that we use. So I used um, one side, and um, this is um, the this is uh, a green color, and then I wanted to use um, the um, this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just adhere these down with the uh, snail. <coughs> Excuse me. And like I said, the nice thing about this uh, layout is that um, it, it it's not designed to be straight. So things can be just a little bit um, a little crooked and it works. And especially because um, this uh, um, perennial essence designer series paper has kind of that abstract uh, look as well. So it goes, um, it goes well with this design. And then put this on, and I think that's the way it goes. And just kind of put it on top. They kind of crisscross and overlap like that. That's nice. Okay, I'm going to put this aside. And let's see here. Then the next thing we're going to do is take, um, what I've used is, um, this is uh, the Mossy Meadow Twine from the uh, um, uh, the uh, Good Morning Magnolia Ribbon Combo Pack. And uh, I thought that the Mossy Meadow would go real well with that. And that's the Mossy Meadow Twine is something that we currently have available. And I'm just tying it, um, wrapping it around twice on uh, the label there. And I'm gonna just tie a knot with it. There. And then push that up just a little bit. And I'm going to get a couple of glue dots here. So I made um, this bow using uh, the twine. And basically I took about a, a one foot length of this and wrapped it around my fingers and then tied it up and tied it up and secured it in the back there. So I'm going to use that one to... Uh, be the bow instead of instead of the um the other ribbon because this is currently available and this is and I think that the green is real pretty with this I just need one there just stick that on and then we'll see what we want to do with these tails Give them a little bit of structure. Make them not look so crazy, not so wild and crazy. And then we'll trim them, trim them out. I 
little wildness and craziness is, is good. There. Then, on uh, our sample card, we just rip the bottom so that you've got kind of a ragged edge. And that's what we're going to do here. And rip it in such a way that it's um, the part that you're not going to use is kind of going towards you. And you can control it so that you can get as uh, ragged an edge that you want and at the angle that you want. And I think that looks pretty good. And then we'll put some in, in uh, the card that we made it on stage. That uh, ribbon was very, very flat. And I think that um, for um, any other kind of ribbon, I think that you're best off putting dimensionals on it so that you don't get a bump on the bottom of the, uh, underneath the ribbon. If you put it flat on, you could get a bump. I have all these, all these dimensionals. There we go. I'll pull the covers off. Now, I think this one, we do want it to be kind of straight or at least parallel with the edge of the card so that it, um, so that it, it, it kind of contrasts with the, uh, the, uh, the wonkiness of the other papers. There. And then, to finish it, Let's get, and these are the noble rhinestones. We need a little bit of uh, shine. So I think, what color? There's so many pretty colors. I, I think I like the greens. So we'll use, pick, just pick off the rhinestones, and this is always a little tricky for me. Yeah, gives you, that shows up. Maybe three different colors, maybe a green and a pink. And then a purple. I got the Blackberry Bliss. There. Okay, now for the inside, So we stamped the edges. We still have room for um, for plenty of room for writing our sentiment. But then it's like a question of do we want to put um, the uh, designer series paper strip on the bottom or not? I cut it because I was thinking about it. But then afterwards I thought, oh, maybe that's just a little too too much. I don't know. What do you think? I think maybe, I think maybe it's better without the designer series paper. So we'll just do that and we'll just add some more snail to the back. it down. We did pretty good without um, using the snail instead of the liquid glue this time. 
with lining it up and keeping it straight. And there, there we go. It's, it's all done. So this is the one that we created today with the, with the floral essence stamp set. And this is the one that, and we have this one currently available to us. And this is the one that we created at the on stage with the, um, with the new um, uh, poppy uh, suite that's in the new catalog. So this is, uh, it's, I think it's a pretty, um, a pretty simple, but it's also a pretty nice uh, layout. And then when you pop it up with dimensionals, you get a little bit more interest to it. And of course you've got your bow and you've got your, your blink. And um, so that's my card for today. I hope you liked it. And thank you, thank you for watching. And um, I'll have all of the uh, dimensions and all the other details on my blog tomorrow. Thank you and have a nice day and have a great, wonderful week. Bye-bye.